In Taiwan, there is a mountain that has a strange shape. And this is its story. One day down from the mountain, there came an old man pushing a cart. He went into the nearby village and he called out, Dumplings! One for ten, two for twenty, three for free! Did you hear what that man said? Said one man to his neighbour. Again came the voice, Dumplings! One for ten, two for twenty, three for free! Well, Someone immediately lined up. I'll have three, please. And the old man handed over the dumplings. Oh, they were delicious. He'd never tasted anything like them before. And soon there came another neighbor and another and another. And it wasn't long before all the dumplings were gone. The old man turned his cart and wheeled it back towards the mountain. The next day he was back. Dumplings, one for ten, two for twenty-three, for free. Well, word had spread, and now there was quite a queue. What was in those dumplings? My! Ooh, just a few mouthfuls, and you felt so good, so full. Ooh. When all the dumplings were gone, the old man turned and went back to his mountain. And so it went day after day and it wasn't long before word had spread that people were coming from other villages people were flocking to that little man and his dumplings his little cart and then one day a woman stepped up and she said I I'll have one dumpling please and everyone laughed and said what why not have three? After all, they're for free. If you have one, you're gonna to have to pay for it. I know, said the woman. But you know, I've tasted these dumplings and one is plenty. And besides which, this old man comes every day and he gives his dumplings away to us and we give him nothing in return. Who is looking after him? Who has asked where he comes from? And the old man looked at the woman and said, you are the one I've been waiting for. Come back to the mountain and I will teach you everything that I know. For I'm not just a silly old fool that comes down from the mountain every day. I am the spirit of the mountain itself. And these are not just dumplings you've been eating, but the trees and the moss and the rocks and the sparkling streams and the bird song I hear every day on that mountain. And that has been part of my existence since the world began. And the old man turned and the woman went with him and everyone watched them go and it was only then that they saw that half of the mountain had disappeared. Half of the mountain was gone. And if you go to Taiwan, you can still find this mountain. To this day, it's called the mountain of Ban Ping Do a half mountain.